We have landed in Miami Airport. There's all the suitcases, <laughs> managed to get them off the belt okay. And now time to grab a cab. Let's go. Excited to get outside. Oh my gosh. 12 hours later and we are here. <laughs> it's a good flight actually. Yeah. Nice and easy. This feels so surreal to be saying this out loud, but Matt and I have officially moved to America and we're currently in Miami, Florida. We filmed a little bit of the plane yesterday, but it's the next morning now and I feel like right now it's actually sunk in. Like even when we were at the airport, I was like, until I'm through that immigration border, it's not real yet. <laughs> um, but we're thinking of doing like 12 months mm -hmm. here. Yep. And um, we also love LA, don't we? So maybe like 12 months in LA. And we'll just see where life takes us and our business. Uh, we're very open-minded people and we love exploring new areas. So yeah, we'll just see where we end up. <laughs> it's so exciting. You may have seen that we spent a month in America back in November last year. And yeah. we've actually been working on securing this visa for that entire time. So almost six months now. Yeah. Story, to understand the full story, you do have to go a few levels deeper than that though. All the way back to 2018, when we yes. first took a trip here. So. In summary, we're on a visa called an O-1 visa. Mm. So you may have followed our primary brand, which is the Luxury Home Show. We've built this successful real estate brand on social media over the last five years or so. And that's been what's enabled us to secure this visa. So we've essentially set up a new company here in Florida. And that company that we have set up is then sponsoring us as individuals too. So that's how mm. we've been able to secure this initial three year O one visa and we will make perhaps a follow-up video that goes into more specifics about that for anyone interested because it's inspiring to me to understand what opportunities are available out there mm -hmm. that you may not necessarily know about and when we first came here I just remember we would drive around we're both from small towns in the UK nothing like this and we were so inspired and we just said to ourselves like imagine one day living mm -hmm. here and not being a trip you know, we've got ourselves in a great position that we've been able to take month long, three month long trips to places, but it's always then been like, okay, it's coming to an end. Yeah. It's very different to now be able to justify moving here and essentially I having know. it as a base, although we'll still spend time <laughs> in other places around the world. Yeah. Like how cool is this to call our new home really? I know. So our first big trip as a couple was a cruise ship that was really good value for money. I know it was like four different mm -hmm. islands and it was such good value for us at the time. And it started in Miami. So we had to fly to Miami and we had like two or three days here. And we rented a Mustang yep. the day, like the most hired car <laughs> in, the most in Miami. <laughs> and at the time, I think it was like a hundred pounds for- It was $178. $178 yep. for a day rental. And that at the time was like a lot to have on a rental car. And it is, of course, um, but we just thought, let's just do it. And yeah. we drove around the entire day. We were getting our value for money on that day, weren't we? It was, we, we've understood from the early days that to set up the dream life you want, you need to visualize and you need to immerse yeah. yourself in that world, even if it's going to showrooms to look at the car you want, visiting But I think that was the day. turning point when we, mm -hmm. when we drove around the city that day and the sun was shining, we had the roof off and we were like, can you imagine like having a lifestyle where like, the sun was out a lot of yeah. the time and we love being outdoors so we've always thought like how can we create a life that gives us that that outdoors lifestyle we were young then i was 21 you were 18 yeah. five years have gone by now five six years and we're finally able to to be here full time and to yeah. also be here full time setting up our own company yeah. having already a great business in the uk and a great team I just never necessarily expected it would it would be like that, and um, it's super inspiring to to be able to be here now. <laughs> yeah, and we were, we've been actually like for a year been trying to buy a property in London that we wanted to live in, mm -hmm. and 
it never really worked out. Like there were so many things that went wrong or we offered on one and it didn't end up going through. And like, I don't know, I think there was just signs that yeah, I feel like it didn't it, work out we, for us. We that. thought it would be right. Like we loved that area of London. We were living there before anyway and it had a lot of potential, but it just yeah. never was really meant to be, I guess. I don't and think it was, yeah. At this time in our life, anyway. And, and we didn't know this would be an option then, because so six months ago when we started applying for this O1 visa, yeah. um, it was from, from all the research that we did and from everything that we could see, it was pretty difficult to secure. Or, yeah. or the people that we knew that were getting them were really extraordinary, like it had incredible companies, incredible mm. personal brands, and we're very proud of what we do, but we didn't know if we would be eligible. Yeah. And I think with anything like this, you never want to get your hopes up before it's happened. Yeah. So at the same time, we were still looking for a place in London. Mm. And yeah, I mean, when we got the news, it, only recently, we, we pretty much, what would you say, it was two, three weeks ago, and now we're yeah. here, is that about right? So when we started applying back in, was it October? It was October last uh, October. November, I think. No, because November back. was the trip that we came here, but we applied before that. Yeah, true, actually. Yeah, yeah. so it was October, October 2023. 2023. And we didn't tell anyone, like, not our parents, not our close friends. Like, it was just us two that knew because we were like, there's no point telling people and it not being approved. Or, you know, when people are always like, oh, have you heard? Have you heard any news yet? If it's been approved, how's it going? We just thought we're just going to keep it on the we'll lowdown. We'll just work on it in the background. Yeah. And, if it works out, yeah. it works out. We didn't get our hopes up. Mm-hmm. And then when you get the email um, and the news saying you've been approved, that basically means your visa like starts then. So as soon as we got that news, we told our close friends and family. Then we had to book an interview at the US Embassy for the week after. We got that pretty uh, soon after the news, thankfully. And once we were approved after the interview, because you need like an interview for like final confirmation. That's another story. That was quite (laughs) scary for me. Um, Then we were like booking our flight for like a few days. I mean, actually we did it like a week after or two weeks after. So it's literally been three weeks since we even told our close friends and family. And they're like, oh, when are you going? We're like, like two weeks. (laughs) So now what are we gonna be up to here? So as I said, we set up a branch of the luxury home show business here. So we're gonna be expanding that across the whole of America. That's the plan. And we're already in talks with some incredible projects, potential Mm -hmm. clients. We've been working on that a little bit in the background as well. So you can stay tuned to that if you're a fan of the real estate brand. If you're a fan of the luxury home show, there'll be a lot of good stuff coming on out, coming on out, you know, out soon. Um, then we have the rest of the team, Tom Jazz, um, in the UK that are going to continue. So the luxury home show will still continue and keep growing in the same way in the UK. You can still expect all of the tours that you're used to, and all the the content across Europe really as well. Anyway, we are going to vlog our entire journey moving here, and you know, bring you guys along with us whether that's finding a, par- a new apartment. We're actually going on some viewings today. Yeah, we're getting straight step. into it. <laughs> we're in a hotel at the moment. Yeah. And yeah, we're starting viewings literally Sunday. We got here yesterday, Saturday. <laughs> viewings are going here today. That's the first step. Secure an apartment. Um, yeah. Find supermarkets, find gyms, mm-hmm. all that kind of... Oh, we have to get our social security number. We have to Bank accounts, personal, business bank accounts. Have to get a driver's license. Oh mm-hmm. my God, I have to drive on the other side of the road. I actually did it's practice. Very easy to drive in America. I did practice last time, didn't I? Yeah. But I, I do struggle with my left and rights. So Matt's like, go to the left, go to the left side of the road. I'm like, which side is that again? <laughs> no, don't go to the left side of the road in America. Oh, is yeah. it on the right? You drive on the right. There yeah. we go. <laughs> lesson one. Lesson one. I'm gonna have to take a driving lesson, I think. No, no like a theory lesson. Um, so this is like, so we we might not even feel that excited in this video because. We are, we really are, tired, we are honestly excited. And I feel like when we were walking yesterday after the flight, I feel like somebody is going to pinch me and I'm going to wake up from a dream. Mm. That's how it doesn't feel real. I just, I can't comprehend that, like, we're not leaving in two weeks and this is a holiday. Mm-hmm. I think as well, because the approval process, it from the approval to actually flying kind of happened so quickly. So it was like five months of waiting, you know, building our case with our lawyers. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, we're here. <laughs> and it's nice to be somewhere where we can set up a bit more of a longer-term base. If you followed us for some time, you'll know we've lived in some amazing places around the world. Uh, most recently, Dubai. We were in mm-hmm. Dubai for a long time. Perhaps, was it nine nine months? 
In one time, yeah. yeah. We, we've done a few. Like, we went for a month at, at Christmas time. We lived yes. in Australia on the Gold Coast for another, like, nine, ten months or so. Mm. And as well as various stints in the UK, lived in Spain. So we tried lots of places and lots of different experiences. And one thing we've always known is we want to set up a base. We love tropical. We love the sunshine. Yeah. We love spending time outdoors. And whilst London's great walking mm. around in the summer so much of the year... I, for us is very limited on the type of things that we want to do so mm-hmm. we've experienced tons of places I mean for example Australia was incredible for the natural beauty yeah. the scenery but what we found difficult was running the company in the UK yeah. and the time zone and everything was, was quite difficult so I feel America and particularly Miami for us to start with especially really gives that balance of incredible lifestyle but also business opportunity and we found that that's yeah. a really important aspect of course for us you know we've built this business for several years mm-hmm. and we found that when we've lived places where we're a bit isolated from it although we're in a world now where you can run things digitally and you can i think the time zone is really good here for yeah. us talking to the team in the uk you also probably saw that we spent lots of time in dubai which again had you know we had such a great time there mm-hmm. for the christmas time that side of the year where it's cooler is so incredible. Lots of benefits that we lived in Dubai. I feel like that was a chapter of our life. And I think also Dubai is normally a short-term place for a lot of people, but I think we'll of course visit there again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, lots of business opportunity in Dubai. We actually filmed a villa on the Palm mm-hmm. with one of our presenters and videographers without us being there for the first time Yeah. a few weeks ago. So the Luxury Home Show is still going in Dubai because our most viewed video is actually mm-hmm. A Dubai villa. Yeah, we still have lots of partnerships going on in Dubai, which yeah. is exciting. And, and this yeah. just allows us to build the brand globally, really. Yeah. America is the ultimate mm. step if you can unlock that. And I feel like we've done well in lots of other places, but to really get to where we want to be and achieve the goals we want, this is where like the business needs to be. I think this is just the next chapter for us, yeah. and we're just so excited. We love new things, and I feel like, yeah, we've we've tried so many different places, and we just pack our bags we don't have we've packed our entire belongings in three suitcases for me and it was um i would say because we've done this for so many times and we have honestly over the last few years lived in so many places and just had suitcases it feels not as much of like a big yeah. step as i think it might to some that have maybe they have a family they have yeah they could have kids already like dogs spend a lot of time with their family i don't know yeah, rambling because, a bit but like more no, of it more true. of an anchor to the uk whereas although we have the business like we're <laughs> thankfully we do have an amazing team and it is able to run without us physically being present i think that is a huge thing that's made this a lot easier for us to you know be very free spirited the properties that we have purchased in the uk are all rented out so that's not tying us to like mortgage payments or anything like that or we, mortgage payments but um, they rent it out. <laughs> yeah, they have mortgage payments, but um, you know, a lot of costs each month that we have to stay in the UK for. Our car is now a company car, so the team will use the car that we purchased. And because we don't have kids or pets, now is the we time. Can just go. This was the right time to do yeah. it, and it just made so much sense. So. Anyway, well, we have a... Oh, we've been talking for a while now. Yeah, we have, we've got our viewings now. Literally, we're about to go view a few places I can see in the background, which is so cool. So let's get ready, go outside, and that will be the next vlog. So why don't we put that as the end screen of this? So if you want to carry on... No, this... but this will be posted first. Okay, but when that's out then? Yeah. You might have to wait a few days, but it will be in the description or in the end screen. We love viewings, so... Yeah. Oh, this is good lighting. Okay, bye.